This video is my trip from Munich to Bologna. However, I stopped taking video at Verona. We're leaving the main train station at Munich. And this is the car I'm in, and that's my seat there. It's the last seat in the last compartment of the first class uh, section made it convenient to shoot out of the window of the last car which we were in and uh, we're now rolling out of the station this was a Sunday morning and there was not really a lot of activity at the station when I arrived Saturday afternoon the place was a bustle with activity and there were trains on every track just about The clicking sound you're hearing is my new Nikon D3300, which was the first time I've used it in video. I have an external microphone, but I didn't have it on, so the um, internal microphone is picking up the refocusing of the lens. We're going through the yard tracks, the passenger yard tracks that lead into the uh, Munich HBF and we'll see some stored trains out here that will be spotted later. These are the Siemens uh, ICE trains, uh, inner city trains, uh, waiting to be spotted. At Rosenheim, which is not too far from Munich, they split our train into two sections. The first section went to Budapest and ours went on to Bologna. Before arriving at Brenner, which is Brennero in Italian, we crossed the Austrian-Italian border. Here we stopped and they changed uh, electric locomotives and then we got going again. You'll notice as we go through some of the towns now in Italy that most of them have two names, the Italian name and the German name. All the trains in Europe, except for England, ride on the right-hand side. But in Italy, they do like in England. They run on the left-hand side. So we will be crossing over now to the left-hand side as we leave uh, Granero. traveling through the Italian Alps and it was a overcast and uh, gloomy wet day. In fact there were a few snow flurries at the summit. You can tell this is all welded rail. And the European rail cars are very quiet. It was really a very quiet ride, even in the vestibule. The vestibule on most European cars is actually part of the main car. There's only a door right at the diaphragm as you go through the diaphragm area. And it is a very tight seal, so you get no, no, no noise coming from uh, outside.
I have no idea how fast we were traveling. This is not a high-speed rail line, but I think it's probably either 90 or 100 mile an hour, maybe even 110 maximum. We're probably doing about 90 or 100. Oh, and it's all downhill from Renero to Verona. And you can even smell the uh, brake pads quite a bit from the uh, brake applications. We just passed the Frecciancento, which would be a silver arrow in English. We have arrived at Verona Puerta Nuova, and because the line runs from Brennero to uh, Bologna straight, we have to kind of wire ourselves into the Verona station, which is on the line from Milano to uh, Venezia. So the engine is on the wrong end for us to leave because we have to go back from where we came and then continue heading south. So they take the engine off the front and they put another engine on the rear. And this is the move that's taking place here. So now when I leave uh, Verona, instead of being on the rear of the train, I'm right behind the engine on the front of the train. Yes, friends, this is the way they do it in Europe. No automatic couplers. Everything is manual. But I have to say, I think it makes a smoother ride between the buffers and the uh, tension that's created. There's no slack action between cars. For some reason there was a minor problem and we were at uh, Verona for about 10 or 15 minutes longer than we should have and they apologized for it. In the meantime we got to see some trains going in and out of the station. And we have the highball to head for Bologna. 